So if you want to be more accomplished and you want to get things done in a shorter amount of time, you've got to study the habits of extremely productive people. And that's what we're going to do in today's episode of Black Men's Career. So what's going on, guys? It's Yaziah, your success strategist. And today I'm going to hit you with the top three best productivity books that I've ever read. This has got to be one of my hardest videos because I've read so many different books on productivity. And there are a handful of really good ones that's hard to put into just three. But the reason why I'm giving you these three is because you need to take action today. We don't have time to wait for you to get every single book under the sun. Right now, we just need to get you going with something. So here we go. The very first book that you need to read, very first productivity book that you got to have in your arsenal is Getting Things Done by David Allen. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel because I'm dropping gems in today's episode. This is the very first productivity book that you really need to have down. If you're really trying to get a lot of things accomplished. Now, why would I put that one first? Well, to be honest with you, I think that there's some pros and cons to every book. But the pro behind getting things done is you're able to get a fully loaded A to Z step-by-step -step process on how to be able to manage your life productively. OK, this is very important. You need a process. See, successful people, they don't just rely on their willpower. They don't just rely on one day of hard work. They rely on a day to day process that helps them get more things done in a shorter amount of time. So I remember when I was graduating from college back in Baylor University and I was thinking to myself, man, you know what? As soon as I graduate from college, I want to hit the ground running. I want to be successful. I want to be able to take care of all of my business so that way I can make my family proud, that way I can make my friends proud, that we'll be able to have money for myself to take care of, you know, uh, my future. I want to have all of these ducks lined up for myself in a row. And so I'm working hard every single day. I'm hustling. I'm grinding it out. I'm breaking a sweat. I'm feeling like I'm getting a lot done because I'm making a lot of motion, but really, I'm not getting anywhere fast. And the reason why I was not getting anywhere fast was because of the fact that I knew how to work hard, but what I didn't know was how to work smart. Getting things done is an advanced process for smart work. So whether you got papers around the house that you need to get organized, whether you got bills and mails coming in that's hard to keep up with, whether you got emails, text messages, phone calls, things that's stored in your mind that you need to start getting down uh, on paper and really figure out, well, what should come first? What should come second? What should come third? Getting things done is without a shadow of a doubt the best book that I've ever read from a process-based perspective. Because going back to my earlier example, when I was graduating from college, I knew how to work hard. And for many years, I was working myself into the ground. From sunup to sundown, I was constantly in motion, constantly working hard. And I started to wonder, is it possible that I could get farther ahead than where I am today if I understood a better way of ordering things? And that's the exact thing that I was able to get from getting things done. Getting things done was able to give me what I was lacking. See, I had the effort that I was putting into it, but the process was something totally different. Once that getting organized when it comes to being productive, honestly, is half the battle. If you don't know how to properly organize and manage your life, it's going to be so hard for you to ever get the biggest things accomplished. Because if you're only doing whatever comes to mind at the time, if you're only doing what somebody just asked you to do from a phone call that you had five seconds ago, and you really are going through your days and weeks without any rhyme or reason um, about what comes first, you're not going to be as productive as someone who has worked smarter and not 
harder. You have to be able to think your way to success on some level. That's why they have a book called Think and Grow Rich. Number two book, The Power of Full Engagement. Why is this the number two book that I have chosen for productivity? Because you cannot be productive if you have zero energy. You cannot be productive if you have zero energy. So I'll make you a trade. Imagine right now that I had the power to be able to give you any resource that you wanted in the world. And resources nowadays are seeming pretty tight, right? Life is kind of scarce. And so you've got the resource of money. You've got the resource of time. You've got the resource of energy. And many of us often complain that there are not enough hours in a day to get things done. Would you agree with that? Have you ever felt like there were some great things that you wanted to accomplish that you had set out for your day, but then when you got into the midst of it, time just started flying, and you're like, man, there's not enough hours in a day to get something done. So I give, make you a trade. Let's say that I had the ability somehow <laughs> to give you 48 hours in a day instead of 24. That sounds good, right? You will have double the time to do everything that you need to do. But here's the catch. I take 100% of all of the energy that you have right now in exchange for the 48 total hours that I'm going to give you. Do you think that that would be a good trade? If the answer is yes, you're smoking crack. You're not thinking. <laughs> because you cannot be productive if you have no energy. You have to have energy to get anything done. Whether you have one hour, whether you have a thousand hours, whether you have a million hours, you have, a car cannot run without fuel. If you are not fueled to be able to get things accomplished, it doesn't matter how much time that you have, nothing's gonna get done. And so the reason why the power of full engagement is so important is because of the fact that it teaches you about how to properly manage your energy. See, many of us know about the importance of managing our money. Many of us know about the importance of managing our time. But many of us have never been taught about the significance and how critical it is to manage your energy and how the world's most successful people all understand that they have to protect the limited energy that they have if they really want to be successful. Here's the thing, your willpower is like a muscle. And when you go through a day-to-day -day, uh, schedule, you'll oftentimes drain bits of willpower without even thinking about it. So what you've really got to do is you got to take a step back and you got to say to yourself, okay, well, if I'm going to be as successful as possible, I have to have the right level of willpower to use at the right time for the right activity. This is very important. If you don't take anything else from what I said in today's video, that could arguably the most, be the most important point out of this entire video. You have to have the right level of willpower available at the right time for the right activity. So many of us get to an activity and we don't have enough willpower, which is why we procrastinate and put it off. So many of us have energy to do things, but we're trying to work on the right thing at the wrong time. And you don't even have enough time to get done what you need to get done. You've not cleared off your schedule to be able to get the things that you need done, right? And then when it comes to doing the right task, how many of us got a million and one different things to do and are not totally sure about what comes first? The right willpower at the right time for the right task equals success. And not just any success, world-class success, next level success. If you could get down that one point from today's video, I promise you, you're on the right track. And that's the reason why you need the power of full engagement to show you how to manage your willpower and your energy, okay? Last and final book that I'm gonna give you guys in today's video is Deep Work. This is a book called Deep Work by Cal Newport. Really smart guy, 
The best thing that I could tell you on this is there's so many distractions that are taking us away from our greatest work every single day that we really don't even know what we're capable of in 2018. We don't know what we're capable of. <laughs> you got to figure out, okay, if I removed all of my social media distractions, all of my phone distractions, you know, all of my friends and random interrupting distractions, and I just did the work, where would I end up? How much better would my life be? That's what deep work is all about. Deep work teaches you not just how to block out distractions, but how to truly put yourself, put yourself in a state where you could focus on extremely important tasks in as short of amount of time as possible. The honest to God truth is you're not going to be able to perform world-class activities if you don't have next level focus. You're not going to be able to write your world's best book. You're not going to be able to create your world's best business if every two seconds as you're building that business or writing that book, you're text messaging, you're on the phone call, you know, you've got your Facebook news feed open, every two minutes you find yourself getting distracted and you're never able to perform at your best because you're always being thrown off. When you get deep work, it's really going to show you how to be able to work, not just at a superficial level and just do a quick task because quick tasks don't get you good results, right? Small tasks don't mean small rewards. Big tasks mean big rewards. So if you want the big rewards, I suggest that you check out the, war, the uh, book Deep Work by Cal Newport. And I think these will be the top three books that will really set your life on the right path. Now, here's one thing that I want to say to you in closing. And this is also extremely important. You know, you see me do a handful of videos now in this Black Men's Career channel about how to be more productive. And the honest truth is that there's a lot that I know about productivity that most people never share. Most people don't know it themselves. But I've often got questions and have gotten asked over the years, you know, Uzziah, how have you managed to be able to start your own business, become a real estate uh, investor, be a best-selling author, a church leader, and all of these different, um, you know, accomplishments and different, you know, uh, areas of focus that you found yourself really delved into at a very high level? How were you able to accomplish all of that within your 20s? Well, the answer is, it's my productivity system. I've spent years really fine tuning and mastering a productivity system that allows me to get a lot done in a very short amount of time. And if you're watching this video, as soon as I've put it out for this week, I'm going to be sharing with you my private productivity system that's allowed me to be able to pay off of my student loans retire from corporate America, write a best-selling book, and so many other different things. I'm not sharing all of this to brag about myself. I'm sharing this so I can help you become that much more productive because there are a lot of things that you want to get accomplished in your life, but the honest truth is it will never happen if you're moving too slow. It'll never happen if you don't know how to work smarter rather than harder. So I want you to click the link below I'm going to give you access to an email that you're going to receive from me as soon as it comes out. So that way, when it comes out, you'll be the first one to hear about it. I don't share this <laughs> out just publicly with people like that. I don't just give away my personal productivity system, but I'm willing to share it with you as a part of my black men's career community for this one week. All right. So make sure that you subscribe, be your brother's keeper. And tell a friend, give them an opportunity to be able to get into my private uh, productivity system. And with that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.